Hello. Hi, it's Linda Lee. And I am signing in on my tablet. Um, we're going to do a live video. I've been having some random issues throughout the day. So hopefully this one will work much better than my previous attempts earlier in the day. So let's see. What happened is the, the device I was using last time um, actually overheated. So it stopped functioning because it said that the phone needed to cool. So I just charged my devices and cleaned up a little bit. Now I'm going to try and do another video and hopefully I'll get through it all without things turning off. So. Um, what I was working on was this CD cover. Um, it's part of a swap. We're doing a, a three CD, altered CD cover um, swap in our group. That's Junk Journal Junkies ETC. And um, this is the one that I completed earlier today. So here it is a little up close. It's not completely dry yet. But I've got like a little pocket in the front and a couple of tags. I ink just stamped and stamped and so journaling can happen on the back. Um, there's a little bitty card in this envelope so that can be journaled on. Um, I did it sideways so this could potentially be glued in and it can be hinged. And then on the back, I had wrapped the paper around the side. So maybe I'll do the same on one of the, the other ones that I'm going to do. So you can see. And I just have an altered library card stuffed in there. And I made a little booklet of like journal papers and um, that you can write in. And then this is blank on the back. So it can be used as a journal card too. And then I just made a little faux stamp. Um, the sticker came from... Um, Kelly's shop as well as the seam binding but at least I got this one finished and while it's drying on the side what we're going to do is um, do another one and see if I can um, get it finished or almost finished before I start having any device issues once again so that's my first one now, on the video that um, didn't necessarily load so well, uh, I had already kind of selected the color and insert for each one because I put a piece of a calendar on the inside. Let's see here. So this was just a graphic on a calendar um, from last year. So... <clears throat> I don't know if I'm going to do it upright or do it so it can be flapped again. I don't know. I hadn't really given thought on what to do. It's just I need to select one of these and kind of create. So um, I pulled, while I was getting stuff situated, I pulled a little bit of stuff to use so like for the blue and I've got some green stuff and yellow so I think I'm gonna do this one just cuz it's a little different coloring wise than um, what we normally do of course I don't really use too much blue anyway but um, this was just simply coffee dyed already uh, and then on the other video I just distressed it and did some um, script stamping um, with my script stamp. This is the one that I use. And so now it's just going to pick up now on some decorating. Um, being that I have a pocket here on this one, maybe I'll do that kind of again so you can see how I did it. Um, but I didn't bring a piece of paper over here for that purpose. Let's see if I can find something here that's kind of in our color palette real quick. Um, not really. What's this? 
That's just another coffee dyed piece of paper. I could probably use this. It's not as heavy as I would like it to be, though. It's this one. So when I do stuff, um, like here, I have a white piece of paper just kind of on top. This is the one that I have taped to the glass on my table. And I just work. And whatever I do, I never really throw away the pieces that are under me because I use them for different things, just for like tags and whatnot. So that's what that one is. But again, it's not heavy enough. I wanted something a little heavier. How's this look? Not really. Not what I wanted. All right, give me half a second. I'm just going across my room. Um, and grabbing, I have a few pieces of paper that aren't too far away. Oh, uh, well, maybe they are too far away. I don't know. Um, shoot, what happened? I cleaned up a little, that's what happened. Okay, we'll see if we can find something in this pad. This is one of my favorite pads. Um, I found it at Walmart on clearance. It was only $5. And um, I love, love, love the papers in this pad. I think I want to use this. Yeah. All right, so let's see. I'm just going to mark about how wide. I think these are square, aren't they? Yep, they are. All right, so... What I'm doing is I'm just kind of rough measuring because I'm going to use a, a paper cutter here in a moment. But I'm just rough measuring because what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert this in the fold. And let's see. It's about this tall. So I don't do a lot of measuring. I just kind of rough it, guesstimate it, and then I go back and cut. So rather than pull out my paper cutter because everything is a little far away from me at the moment, I'm just going to use some scissors. And Actually, I'm going to tear it. Even better, faster, and a nice rough edge. So, now, I'm going to make this into a pocket, but what I'm doing is I'm tearing it so it's got a rough edge. That way it's kind of like this one. So all I'm going to do is use my own um, CD cover that I already did kind of as inspiration for um, the one I'm working on now. And what I did for the back is I folded it in so that this was a pocket. And then when I turned it over, what I did is I folded this on the inside. Um, this paper, I can't use this side as a journal spot, otherwise I would do a flip um, without gluing other paper onto it. So what I'm all actually going to do is just kind of fold it inside itself and glue it.
if that makes sense. Hi, everybody. I'm just now finally looking up at the feed. Um, I see a few folks that were here with me earlier today. Hi. Sorry for my chaos. <laughs> it's just, it is what it is. <laughs> But if you're just coming in, we're doing altered CD cases. So what I'll do is I haven't done it for the ones that I posted earlier today yet, but I'll go back and put the link in Kelly's shop so that y'all can, um, if you don't already have them, you can get them um, really easy. And there's actually, she has quite a few um, for, I don't even remember. I meant to look up the price. Okay, let's bring this down a little bit. Okay. So now, let's go ahead and distress. Now, I since this is green paper and I distress this in green, what I'm actually going to do is use the brown so that it stands out a little bit more. and then just go around the edges a bit. I don't want to completely cover the white. I kind of tear it on purpose for the white because I like it. Um, and then it looks a little more intentional that, well, it's more obvious that it's actually torn. At least to me. Yeah, that paper pad that I tore this paper out of, um, I was fortunate enough for them to actually have two when I found it. And I bought them both. Because I figured, okay, I'm never going to find this again. It was on clearance, so it's probably been out here for a while. Alright, let's go ahead and where's the glue? Fold this down a little bit. And go ahead and so anyway. been a fairly interesting afternoon. nice and lined up. And the ribbons that I have are all kind of sheer that are green. And I'm just still working on top of old papers. <clears throat> a little glue on this little tiny edge so that it's a true pocket and be less likely to get torn maybe maybe so my swap partner see you have to yell at me to get in frame guys um my swap partner is Susie Allison and so she's gonna get what I'm making here on camera with you guys. Is that too bright, you think?
So what I'm doing is just crinkling it up so it has some texture and I'm actually going to glue it down this edge. I am going to distress ink it. <laughs> See? <laughs> Isn't that funny? I'm going to use the brown to darken it up a little bit. I'm going to make a mess out of my hands. So let's grab a baby wipe. I still got some baby wipes from my hurricane supplies from last year. Another month or so, and we'll be buying more hurricane supplies. But these have a tendency to dry out after a while. So, if we lose um, water for any reason, these are really nice to have on hand so that you can still bathe. Um, let's see. So, I know you guys have seen Kel do this, Kelly. Um, I usually don't distress my ribbons. But sometimes it gives it a real... When it, so you, like this time it was just too bright. I mean, I, I still have some of the green sheen. Um, but now... It's not just pretty and bright. It's a little more grungy. And it goes along with the rest of the distressing. And See? And then I'll glue it, crinkle it, and glue it down the edge. But before I do that, I do want to wipe my hands a little bit so I don't transfer the ink where I don't want it. Patricia, if you're still here, you're not really late. Um, I kind of had some of it already done, so it might just look like you came in late, but I haven't really been on for very long. At least not yet. All right, so here I'm just going to... I like to use the glue sticks with a lot of my ribbons. Um, unless it's real thick, like velvet ribbon. Because the glue stick f actually fits really good. And it grabs. You just got to hang on to it for a few. And then you can go back and, I don't know, maybe this one's not going to grab. Or you could sew it, but my sewing machine is like under my table. And I would have to literally move everything to bring it up. Unless I crawled down on the floor and sewed. <laughs> I've never done that before, but it, it would work. Because this is not. My satin ribbons stick really good, but this one is not really. All right, let's. Do I have any wax paper? If you guys ever have trouble, um, what I like to do is just apply pressure under some books or something and put wax paper on top. Because nothing really sticks really well to wax paper um, or even parchment paper stuff doesn't stick really well to. I don't think I have anything here though. Shoot, I almost always have it here. Alright, because that's lifting the whole way. And I have a sugar ant running rampant. <laughs> Hmm, what 
to do what to do. All right, so that didn't work, huh? Shoot. All right, I'm going to um, fuss with my sewing machine for half a moment. That or I can just not use that for that. I can use it for ribbon tops. Let's see. Um, while I was looking for purple ribbons and stuff earlier, I did find this little baggie that had some green stuff. So maybe I can do something different with this stuff instead. I have a lampshade that I put this trim on probably about 15 years ago, and I still have a little bit left. Isn't that awesome? Can you see it? I love it. This came from Kelly's shop. I ordered some doily stuff in green, and I got this, and this and these and I think I got some um, dyed fabric that was wrapped around a clothespin but I may have used it all because that should be in here too but yeah I order random doily stuff from her she always has the best ones so no What do you think about this hairy stuff? Maybe. This inside the CD cover, um, it's just a, it was an off cut that I had from, it was like a 13 by 13 um, calendar. So this was just some off cuts that I had from a different project. And it just fit. So I had some other ones too that I could have selected from because I had, you know, like a, a four and a half inch panel that I just cut into squares. And this is the one that made the made the cut. So, but that's what it is. It's just a piece of calendar. Um, I don't throw any of my calendars away, so... Fortunately, I have some old ones from before I even started doing this junk journal stuff. I'm going to use this hairy stuff. I'm still going to use the other ribbon, but I wanted something down that side. And this is pretty, uh, you know what? I think... I'm going to, I did this with the other one too. I was going to do it upright, but I think I'm going to do it sideways so that this can be glued as a hinge onto like a journal page. So let's just go ahead and turn the picture a little bit. If I can get it back in here. Yell at me if I go off camera again. Yeah, the hairy stuff is really cool. I have um, some shoot eyelash trim as well, but I really want to use this because the bulk of the, at least for this part. And the glue is still tacky there too, so. If it does seem like it's not tacky enough, I'll just pull it up and do it again. Scissors. Okay. So, let's 
So if you hear kind of some beeps and stuff in the background, my guy is air frying um, some chicken wings. So we're going to have, we just call them chicken wings, but they're really buffalo chicken wings because I'm from Buffalo, so it's just wings for us. <laughs> I also brought out some cards while I was going through other things trying to pull for this project. These kind of were for the the blue The only thing is they're kind of this they're already distressed a little bit but um some of them are so glossy that you can't really even put ink on them so where oh where i had oh here we go You might hear an extreme crash in a little bit. I got stuff stacked and it just might make a mess. <laughs> a big mess too. I got, this is from Hobby Lobby. I almost never have cheesecloth but last time I was there before they shut down they had um, some stuff that was like on sale so I bought some I've never had colors either usually I have the the whiter creamy colored one and then I just dye it myself so it's kind of nice having it already a certain color and then you can always make it a little darker which is probably what I'm gonna do hi Aisha an angel welcome welcome we're doing CD cases for our swap did you guys did anybody else get in on this swap Hello, Isabella. <clears throat> My fingers are sticky from the glues. All right, and kind of want this here we're going to decorate that corner. I don't know if I'm going to use this. I think that might be a little bigger than what I wanted to use. What do you guys think? So far, so good. Um, and I have these little envelopes. So this little envelope here, I want to use that little envelope here as well. So I need something a little lighter to put underneath it. Let's actually go ahead and distress this real quick. So just a little folded piece of paper. Um, let's 
let's see. So with our rain that we got, finally, it's like the first real rain we've had in almost over a month. Um, it still was only like a half an inch, but still it was rain for us. This is like our dry season. We uh, have a lot of little visitors, so it brought out some sugar ants. So that's what you're seeing. Sometimes they're out, sometimes they're not. And see this here? A little journal card to go inside here. So this is part of a larger piece of, it was a larger piece of lace. I got it in a rack. It was like three or four pieces long, I think. And I just cut it. I did buy some Fabri-Tac, so I think I'm gonna try and use that on this. This is really stringy though. It's, this is um, today's the first day that I used it. I tried to use it a little bit. Um, I should probably really put it on this, huh? I tried to use it on the other one that I did, but it's so stringy. I'm not sure if I'm gonna like it or not. I'm just used to the. Um, Tacky glue and glue stick is really all I usually do. And So these are the first altered CDs um, that I've really done as a swap. This is just a little leftover tag from when I bought a doily or something at a thrift shop. So don't throw those things away either, ladies. Because these things fit really cute inside stuff like this. Um... I kind of want something on there, though. I have words somewhere. Uh, I have a whole thing that has, like, stickers and stuff in it. Oh, but I've moved stuff around so much, I don't know where it is. So, I guess we'll let that pass for the moment. Um, I need to put something over here. Maybe just a little piece of the uh, fuzzy stuff. Something else on top of it, of course, but. <laughs> it's so fuzzy, you almost can't see what's inside. What else? What else? Yeah, the little envelopes, um, Aisha, I got from Kelly Shop. I don't think I've ever seen them um, anywhere else. Not that little, anyway. I have an envelope maker, but I think the smallest that I can make, at least on the envelope maker, without doing some serious math, um, is like maybe a 2 by 3 envelope. Okay. 
Okay. So then if it goes gets hinged into a page somewhere, then this will just hang out the bottom. I don't know about you guys, but I love strings and stuff hanging out. When I sew, all my stitches, I don't trim them. I let them hang out. I might if they're too long, but they're always still there. So I need a little jewel or something up here. And my envelope we're going to clip glue here. But I do want something for on top of the envelope. And then we got to make little tags or stuff and stuff to tuck in. And then um, we got a pocket in the back that we need to make a couple things to tuck in too. Um, maybe we can do like a an altered time card or something, a little piece of. Um, let's see. I do have these kind of tags. I got a couple few of these that I got. Guess where? <laughs> you guessed it. So I'm just using whatever's in this little ink pad. I'm not re-dipping it. And it can just be used for journaling. I may do a little script stamping on it. Let's see. Where's my brown? Here we go. At least on one side. On this side. have to tie some ribbon in it so it'll either be the one that I already inked or I have some of this little twine here that I can actually um, also run through the ink thingy a little bit so it's not quite so bright And then it'll be a little journal. I just want to keep it kind of simple because there'll be other things that'll be a little more decorated or patterned. All right, I know I hate to step away, but I'm going to grab my words because I want to put something on here. Okay, so I'll be right back. I'm not really going very far. It's just on the other side of the room. And I have a whole file thing that's got like stickers in it, jewels and words. And see, I have the Tim Holtz ideology. And I think that's what I want to use. Unless I use gold. Mm -hmm. No. Nope, nope, nope. Or one of these. So these are kind of cool because they're 
different browns. I just have to find something I like. I like the Lesson 13. <laughs> I like this one. Sorry. So, I have Siri talking in my ear. <laughs> I have a headset on from earlier today and I just forgot to take it off. And when I said sorry, it was actually Siri. And she thought I was talking to her. Um, let's see. What I want, might want to put one more on there. Um... Sorry, sorry, I don't mean to just kind of sit here. But I don't look at these very often, so. Um, let's just say the be thankful, or is that too big? Mm, a little bigger than I want. Oh, I'm agonizing for no reason. All right. Let's do it. Different page. <laughs> this one, Life is Full of Beauty. Let's go ahead and... Do I still have anyone with me? Hello. I didn't lose y'all again, did I? So earlier, like I was saying, my the phone I was using to record overheated and it stopped recording even though I was still talking and I thought everybody was still here with me. There we go. So, do we need another little piece of this, maybe? I think so. Only this time I'm not gonna put ink on top. That way it's a little bit different in color. A little smaller in size. Oh, I kind of don't like this back there behind the little tag. So let's see. A little bit of fabric tag. stuff is really awful guys who likes to use Fabri-Tac I'm not sure anybody still with me I think I lost y'all string tag 
we're going to do, I did have some, here it is, over here, and let me find some button. Let's see if we can find a green one or a brown one. Something that isn't just a normal button. So it's got a little texture to it, maybe. Mm. I think I like that color. go with that one just because of the color. So let's go ahead and I want it a little lighter. I just have to find the end of my thread. I use these this thread when I do my um, macrame bracelets, the wrap ones. I can't find the end though. Holy moly. Alright, maybe I'll just use a different one. Um, I got this one. It's that or black. I don't want to use black, I don't think. So we're just going to thread this through a couple few dozen times, <laughs> a dozen, <laughs> and then we'll tie it in a knot. Sorry, I'm trying to do it in the camera instead of like under my nose and I'm missing the hole. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, so let's go on the outside so we can knot it. Yeah, the buttons, um, I found on Facebook Marketplace, some lady was selling buttons, and she was calling it Grandma's Stash, and it was seven, um, little jars, kind of like mason jars, like this one here, so seven jars of buttons. I just dumped them all in that box. I don't have, I mean, I have a big jar, but it's already halfway full. So I didn't want to put them in the jar as well. Okay. So let's try this Fabri-Tac again. I haven't gotten much feedback on the Fabri-Tac yet. What are you guys thinking? Does anybody use it? I'm not sure I like it. Uh-oh. <laughs> Scoozy. Trim these strings. And 
does it dry clear? I would think so, because it is clear. Permanent adhesive, so, oh, is this the top? Yeah. Okay, so I'm not sure I'm gonna do anything more to the front of this, other than snip these guys. I kind of just need to let it hang out, I think, and dry before I do anything to the back. Because I will decorate it up a little bit. See how I did the back of this one? I used a library card. Um, these little stickers, these I got from Kelly's shop. They come in like a whole collection of, um, I don't know, is it 30 or maybe 30? And I, the same thing with here, but they were two different sets. I just used them because they were purple. And I made a little faux stamp. So the stamps came from her shop as well. But this here I just cut with my pinking shears. And then you still have room on the inside, so stuff can be put on the inside. You don't have to, you know, use the graphic. So Susie, when you get these, if you want to change them up a little bit, I my feelings will not be hurt. Once stuff leaves my hands, it's no longer mine, it's yours. So if you want to change it, pull it apart, reuse something, sell it, it's all you. Um, you know, I, I had my fun. I released it out into the universe and it's somebody else to appreciate, enjoy, um, whatever. That's how I feel about anything. Just like when I lend somebody money. Once it leaves my hands, it really doesn't matter what they use it for. So even if it's not what they you know, told me it was for or whatever, it leaves my hands and that's it. I don't get mad. I don't stress. Um, otherwise, you know, you lose friendships and stuff like that. So... At least I, that's how I feel. I just let it go. Even when I lose something, I figure, well, somebody else needed it more than I did. So I don't get too upset. Sometimes emotionally you get attached to stuff. Um, but, yeah. Just let it go. Move on. Alright, so that's my, my um, second one. Let's see if I can get this off. So now I've got two of them. Well, one that's completely done, one that's almost done. All right, guys, so Fabri-Tac does wash off before it sits too long. So if I had let that sit there, I probably wouldn't have been able to get it off because a little of it oozed through the buttonhole and um, it just let me wipe it off. So something I learned today um, so I'm going to end my video now. Oh no, Elaine. Hi. I'm just going to, I'm just saying goodbye now. <laughs> Timing. You can always rewatch. Actually, this one I'm going to post to my YouTube channel too. Um, so here are, um, the two of the three CD cases, uh, that I've made so far. This is going to be the third one. I'm going to do it in, um, blues and browns. Um, but these two are what I just finished, if you can see them. I was going to use this. This came off of my Stevia packet, but I don't didn't like the lettering. And then I still have this to use, too. So um, whatever I put in the back, I'll probably put my inked up ribbon on. Because I inked it up, but I haven't used it yet. So that's it. Until next time. Um, I'm probably gonna, I know I've talked about this a couple few times, but I'm going to do some, a uh, video maybe Wednesday on the buttons. I'm going to take the big ones and, um, distress them and put like book pages on them. 
Um, I just have to figure a little of the mechanics out before I do it on video. Unless I just figure it out together. That way you guys, if you kind of explore or whatever, you kind of know what does and doesn't work. Um, but yeah, see how that one's kind of icky? So actually it's kind of nice icky, isn't it? Look at that one. You don't have to distress it at all. It's already done. But yeah. Now this one I can't wait to put a book page on. It's so big. Isn't that huge? I just don't know which side I'm going to put the book page on. So what I'll probably do is Mod Podge and then, um, you know, tear the paper away where it doesn't stick from. Because I don't have hole punches, you know, other than like a half, half an inch. So that's what I got to kind of figure out on one or two before I do it on camera. So thanks for hanging with me. Um, for those of you who have um, come and gone... Because uh, this is technically my fourth video today. Thank you so much for your patience. Um, actually, you know what? Before you go real quick, I finished some of my flowers. So these here are new fabrics. Um, the purples are new. The pink I used before, but the purples. I am completely out of the dark purple. So if you saw my how-to video... Um, I don't have any of that dark purple, so not until a fabric store opens will I have any. Um, but I do have, oh, here's a little piece of the dark purple. See the dark purple that's in the middle there? That's what I'm talking about. I don't have any more of that fabric. Um, I sold them all. So, and those of the you that have gotten them, um, thank you so much for ordering and your support. Uh, the only ones that I have not sent out yet, Allison, I still have yours. Um, I need a customs label. And the label that they gave me, um, didn't have multiple parts. It only had like the first page. And I haven't gotten to the post office again since. So, um, that'll go out to you this week. Um, sorry about that. I meant to message you too. But since we're talking about flowers, hopefully you'll see this. And that's that. So thank you, ladies, once again. Um, make your CD covers. Uh, Kelly Shop has um, the blanks, the white ones. These are just coffee dyed and then, you know, doing all the magic to them. Um, I'll connect the link, though, so you guys have it. Um, that's it. Thanks again. And I uh, will talk to you later. I'm going to do um, an eco dye process video. So it's going to be probably several videos that I put together and upload to YouTube. So I don't know that I'll do any of it live because it's all just going to be kind of randomly in my kitchen. And I might take it out in the field where I'm harvesting. I got to see if somebody can record while I'm doing the harvesting. So you can see what I'm doing and I can tell you what the plants are. Otherwise, I can just tell you on my kitchen counter but it's fun to take a field trip so have a great rest of your weekend and be safe keep washing your hands and um have a great day bye bye